Hello everyone, welcome to Coding Tricks. Hope you are doing great, right? Yes. So today you are going to see a beautiful trick that is helpful, mostly helpful to the teachers and the students, those who are not going to attend their meetings or any those who want to present something. So it is very useful for them. In your absence also you can your friends can play this recordings. So in that way it is very useful. So you can see now how it is useful. So if you want to record a slideshow, whatever you want, whatever your slides are there, here my slides are all seven slides are there. So I want to record that slides with the narration, with my words. So how I will record? I will go to slideshow tab. In that slideshow I will go to record slideshow. If I click on this drop down list, I'll get the two options. It is record from current slide and record from beginning. So if you want to record from the current slide, that means if you are in the third slide or fourth slide or any slide, you can click on current slide. Or if you want to go for record from the beginning, then you will click this. So I'm going to click record from the beginning. So you will get the two options. That is Slide and animation timings. Do you want to record slide and animation timings? And do you want to record your voice as well? So it will ask you both the options. So you will check both because you want the slide timings as well as you know you want your words narration. So I'm going to record this. Start recording. So here you can see the record timings. This is the time which you are spending on the current slide. This is the time which you are spending on the overall slides. That means total number of slides timings. This is. So I have spent this. So I have changed the slide. So it is starting from zero again. And the total time is 27 seconds, 28. So as you are going to slide the change. Slight change, C. Again, it is starting from 0. This is the total timings. I'm going to change the next slide. See, it is starting from 0. Next slide. So you can also see here, it is the symbol that you are recording this. So in this way you can record. So now you can listen what we have recorded. So you will record from beginning and it is a shock. And you have the shortcut key also F5. So here it's all. So you will get now sound. See here. In the beginning, you will get some whatever. So here, So in this way you can record the timings as well as your narration. So you have some more options to clear. So if you want to clear the timings on the current slide. So you will get the timings on each and every slide. So if you want to clear the timings on every slide. Then you will click on all slides. If you want to clear the timings on only particular slide. Then you will click on clear timings on current slide. So if you want to clear if you want to clear the narration of current slide that means if you don't want to uh, 
Talk you don't if you don't want your words on the current slide, you will click on clear narration on current slide. If you are if you don't want to clear sorry if you want to clear the narration on all slides, you will click on this. So you will have different options. So I am going to clear all the narrations now. Clear clear narrations on all slides. So you will not get anything now. You will not hear any sound now. So this is how you can record. And one more option also you have rehearse timings. That means you, it will record timings as well. See now. If I talk also. <coughs> if I talk also it will not record any sound. See here, you can observe. It will record only the timings. And finally, it will ask, do you want to record the new Tursnai timings? I will say yes. So, in this way, this is helpful to you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you everyone. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.